Oh, they said that footy was gone on Thursday night. They said they wouldn't be playing well. They didn't understand what we could just get at our hands. I'm talking Thursday night footy. It is back. And we have got two of the biggest names in media and the AFL to take us through this big clash. How good is this round two? Both sides coming off a win in round one. Nathan Brown, Matthew Richardson. Let's do this. Hello, boys. How are we all? Everything going all right? What about Trent Cotchin standing there? And uh, Scotty, see, Scotty Pendle looks a bit evil. <laughs> looks like he's been out all weekend, doesn't he? <laughs> Have a look at those eyeballs on Pendles. <laughs> I reckon they both look good. Uh, Nato, this is a, a redemption story for me, basically, tonight. I actually did the commentary on the AFL, AFL Evolution game. And judging by most of the feedback I got from people, they didn't rate it. They thought I was putrid. <laughs> so this is a redemption story for me tonight. I can't wait to get into it. Rich would have been a good it... earner though, Matthew, wouldn't it? Oof. Yeah, a few dollars entered the bank account. Yeah, that's all dried up, hasn't it? No, this is why I'm doing this tonight. I've gone from chocolates <laughs> to boiled lollies, let's be honest. Hey, I've got to ask, gentlemen, at the start of 2020, did you think you'd be spending Thursday night of round two sitting in front of your laptop with a gamer headphone on that they are the headphones that the little the world of warcraft guys use you'd be sitting here calling a fake game of footy well, it's the, game- the way the world's going isn't it matthew esports they stack out stadiums at the moment they earn millions of dollars those guys on esports so let's see if we can get something going tonight make sure the tigers win this game because matthew i believe you've injected yourself into this game I have, yeah. That's probably the biggest story here. Dan Butler is a late out for Richmond here in this game, basically because he plays for St Kilda now. So we needed to bring someone in, and I've decided that I'm bringing myself in. I'm bringing myself in after 10 years in retirement, and I'm moving the man that basically forced me into retirement, Jack Rewalt, into the Ford pocket. I'm going to play full Ford. Why, you might ask at home. Well, it's a simple uh, answer. I've kicked a lot more goals than Jack. He's kicked 631 goals. I've kicked 800 goals. I'm a better option at full forward. (laughs) So you've moved him out of full forward. You've said, Jack, you've been carrying on a bit about the pay at the moment. You're just going to go over there into the pocket, son. Don't worry about being up on the stage with the killers. I am the big show. I am Richo. They sung songs about me. I haven't heard a song sung about you yet, Jack. And I'll tell you what, we're going to clear everyone else out of the 50 tonight. That is the game plan for Damien Hardwick. Get everyone out of the... Board 50 and leave it to number 12. Hey, because, Brandy, you come in as well, of course, not included in the original game. Now, I've got some stats because we had to download you guys as players. Who did now, Brownie which, come in for? Brownie Kane came Lambert. in for Dan Butler. Uh, no, no, Kane sorry, Lambert. Dan Butler. You came, he came for Kane Lambert. So we've, um, replaced, we've replaced the guy who can run the tan in 13 minutes with a player who runs around the tan in 18 minutes in Nathan Brown. <laughs> That's a fair point you make, Matthew, but I don't see Kane Lambert kicking five and a quarter on Jimmy Clement. So <laughs> that's the sort of stuff you're going to get brought to the table tonight. Uh, if you're one of the oh, only no. few people in Australia that haven't heard that stat, there you go. But I must say, you guys can be downloaded in this in this game. Brownie, you were downloaded 104 times. Uh, so 104 people chose to that's include you in their game. Is that a yeah. lot, Hummer? Well, that's respectable. Richo. 1,400 times you were downloaded to put in this game. So there you go. That just, but I have to say this, and I'm being honest here. Richo, you're rated at a, 80, uh, a 90 now. Oh, you, Is that you, right? You were rated yeah. an 83 and Brandy an 85. Oh, you well. seem to have come up here. Matthew Probably Richardson, about 90. Right. <laughs> Nathan Brown, 88. Hey, but there, it wasn't just Richmond that's got some changes today, boys, because uh, Dane Swan comes into the lineup. Of course, we had to get Swanee. Now, there's a little man called uh, Maynard who had to come out of the side because guess who has come in? Hama, Hama, Hama. You're I've kidding. I finally got my own video character. So I- you're, this is the man who plays thirds for old Camberwell has come in for Maynard. I've come in for Maynard and I'm playing on Brownie because for those that listen to our, our little podcast, I've always said that if I got to play on Brownie in my prime and his prime, I would have towed him up. <laughs> well, we're going to get to see what happens today because R. Hummerston, who mm. I'm rated 71 at the moment. That's a little bit. <laughs> that's <laughs> very know. generous indeed. And Hummer, I this come is, in for the lineup. For people watching out there, Richard Hummerston plays fourths in the Vappers <laughs> and actually got dropped this year from the fourth back to the second. So... <laughs> Unbelievable stuff. Hey, well, I reckon let's get this underway. It's Thursday night footy at the G. Both sides coming off a win. This is exciting, boys. Chris, before we start, though, match predictions. Who's going to win this one? 
Uh, look, I'm going. Uh, I'm going with Richmond, the reigning premiers. Both teams look really good in round one. Richmond beat Carlton. Obviously, Collingwood was sensational over the Western Bulldogs. But the game is going to be won in the middle of the ground. And Toby Nankervis against Brody Grundy will be the key matchup. And haven't Richmond's ruck, ruck stocks improved from the early to mid two thousands when a guy called Adam Patterson was first ruck? He wasn't a great player, was he, Fado? <laughs> he really worked hard. He worked hard. And um, what about that draft of 2004? That was going to be the saving of Richmond. That was going to give us a premiership. It was called the Fab Five. And unfortunately, the Fab Five failed to deliver. Uh, so we're just waiting. And now anyone, any gamer out there will understand the exact misery we're going through, the old loading screen. But it looks like underway. And here come the sides to run through the banner. Who's going to come out first? It looks to be... The Magpies are going to come out first round. Look at Richard Hummerson there, number 12 in the back pocket. He's I, going to I, add some strength to that. I look at that, and that, that's a worry for me if I'm a Collingwood supporter. Richard Hummerston in the back pocket lining up on Nathan Brown. What a forward line for the Richmond Football Club. Brown, Martin, and Caddy. Good to have Rewalt, Rance back. Richardson and Rioli. And good to have Alex Brands <laughs> back. It's a miracle. It's an absolute look at him. miracle. We've, uh, we've pulled Rance some favours out. We've asked Alex Rands to come back just for one game. and. Here he comes. What a player. Well, we need something like Alex Rance coming back at the moment. And this team, what a team they've been. <laughs> what are our thoughts on the creative banner today, boys? The Jews quite have the week off. Well, they're all at Centrelink, to be honest, <laughs> uh, Hummer. <laughs> Unfortunately for the They Richmond were before Chicago. this crisis, Richo. A fair point. <laughs> Hey, and now if you're watching out at home, we're going to have a, a quarter time, half time, a three quarter time. We're going to have a, some uh, a Q&A with Brandy and Richo. So send any of your questions through. And one thing we love to like, we love to see, if you remember any of the original commentary from this game, just whack it in the comments. We absolutely love to see it because it was, and it was, it was voiced by our man Richo in there as well because he was one of the original commentators. Okay. Fun yeah. fact, he actually had to go and ask to commentate the new AFL Evo that's coming out in April. They said, Richo, not a snowball's chance. How no, bad actually, were you, Richo? No, I was terrible. And I think anyone who has that game will agree with me. But if someone did like my commentary of this original Evolution game, please send through now. Well, here we go. Oh. The bounce of the ball. Here is the first bounce. Big Nan Curvis up against Grundy. I reckon Nan Curvis won that one. Adam Trelaw had a baby during the week. He might be a bit tired. There's a lot of mucking around going on with the handball at the moment. The ball comes out. I think that might be Dustin Martin. He probably needs to have a bounce. Here comes Trelaw. Dustin Martin just misses to the left-hand side. First score to the Tigers. And there's Richo saying, oh, what did you pass it to me, Dusty? Well, I, tell you, I didn't play any games with Dustin, but he's quickly going to learn tonight that you pass it to the full forward. You don't blaze away from 40 metres out. You hit me up on the lead. That's a short ball, goes wide. That's going to be out of bounds on the full. There's Brown getting out, Mark. That was disappointing. Play on. Shane Woods gets the Please ball back up. inside, forward 50. Yeah, Jeff Rewalt's the man down there, but he's missed it through for another behind. The Tigers are two. The Pies are young. Well, already a bit of forward pressure here for the Tigers, but the problem there, Rewalt got in the way of Richardson there. The instruction was to move up the ground and leave space behind. Who's 15 for the Pies? Who's that? Lyndon Dunn. Lyndon Dunn. Short ball, the Pies moving to half back, and here's the Crisper. Very good player, Crisper, good left footer. How good has he become, Jack Crisp? Pro just about one of the best half backs in the competition now. Moving the ball quite well here, the Pies towards centre wing. Uh, I think that's Scotty Pendlebury with a left foot, to a half forward. Trelaw, quick left footer towards centre half forward, and the Tigers turn this one over. Dave Asprey, Premiership centre-half back. Oh, what about big Brodie Grundy? Seven-year, $7 million commentary. Didn't he tear Tim English in you arsehole during the week, Richard? He did, and unfortunately for Brody, that seven-year, $7 million deal now is looking pretty shaky, isn't it? Just a fast game, isn't it? Jamie Elliott tries to kick a goal, but it just goes to the right and kicks A behind. What's fair compensation for the players, Nathan? Is it a 50%? Uh, do they think they need to give 50% up? Uh, a little bit more than that, Matthew, I think. You reckon? She's uh, at short careers, very short careers. Glenn Grimes. Just give a little bit back, Matt. Just give a little bit back. Here's Hoskin Elliott. Kicked 46 goals a couple of years ago. Was down a little bit last year, but goes for the big barrel. That's oh. a nice kick, but just to the left-hand side. Darcy Moore left scratching his head. Two behinds apiece early stages, Matthew. This is as windy as that Collingwood-Richmond game, <laughs> round one, 2003, where Nathan Brown kicked two goals, five in his debut for Richmond. 
It was a good day that year. It was just a year later, that one, Matthew. It was 2004 as we moved the ball down towards half back. And then uh, Hoskin Elliott again. What a big mark. Sends it back in. Hard to, hard to, really hard to follow this ball around it. It's a bit jumpy. I tell you what, hasn't Shane Elliott become a good player, Matthew? Yeah, he has. He's become a very good player. I, one of the issues we're encountering here in this game is that the national broadband, which we all know has been putrid, is just not delivering the speeds that we require for this game. I thought it might have just been my computer there for a minute, but the Pies move the ball towards half forward. Here's Tarrant. It's not Tarrant. Tarrant it's moves Gonsack. the ball. To Gowie. To Gowie. Short ball into the pocket. Elliot again. Oh, that is brilliant. Good mark by Elliot. That How was slick played by the Gowie. Pies. He's just about my favourite, Jordy to go eat. Banana. I think Darcy Moore might have kicked one here, has he? Oh, no, he's no. missed it. He's missed it. Gee, it's a hard game to commentate. <laughs> we doing this every day. Oh, he's kicked it straight in. He's kicked it straight back to Elliot, Matthew. Yeah, that one was... One of your kicks. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon Elliot's kicked the first goal of the, the game goal. here. It's taken a long time. 1-2-8 the Pies, or 1-3-9. And Richmond... The two behinds. Only nine minutes. On it, 11 minutes for that first goal of the game, gentlemen. He's best on ground. Jamie Elliott, he's had three shots at goal already, and they need to tighten up the Richmond defence down there. That's Brandon Ellis. Uh, clearly, he's already thinking about the Gold Coast Suns in a five-year deal. <laughs> it's good to see Alex Rance back, just kicking it straight back to Elliott. Well, in his what? early days, Rance, he, he could make some horrendous mistakes. Don't worry about that. Oh, it's a shocking kick, Rance. I'll tell you what, Jamie Elliott looks a little bit more uncoordinated than what he did last Saturday night. <laughs> Back in the middle, Nan Curvis. I reckon he won that one, Nan Curvis. Came down to Cochin. Umpires picked out a free kick, and it's going to go for a ball up. Grundy easily won that one. Jeez, he was good last week. Edwards, what a player he's become. Handball out. Lost stone, short ball down towards half forward. Dustin Martin. Martin. Well, we know go he's the got from Richardson. Go to Richardson. Ducking back goes Richardson, gets over the back, and Richardson, oh, I reckon, marked it. that one. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> oh, that is why you brought this man into the team. You're going to go the banana, Richo. I reckon he might have kicked <laughs> oh, the first one. Richo, he's done. He's done. He's done. He's turned back the clock. That hair's a lot thicker <laughs> than what it actually is in real life. Well, I'll tell you what, since this last time I played, I've been on finasteride for 10 years, Nathan. <laughs> You've got a, you're looking a lot more tanned than this, I must admit, Richo, in this. Well, I've had a bit of time on my hands lately, <laughs> clearly. The old, the old banana. That was very nice. I can I can say that I've never kicked one of those in my career. <laughs> Almost like an old Peter, Peter Hudson Look style. At the, you've done the double copper as well afterwards, Richo. Oh, and the back pies by a point. 139 to 128. Big ball in the middle. Who can win up? Pies picked out a free kick. No, not a free kick. Going to be uh, a ball up again. Trent Cochin's been quiet. He has been quiet. Trelaw's been giving the runaround. Has not got near. Oh, he's pushing back. Here's Trelaw again. Inside forward 50 for the Pies. Tarrant was there as well. He couldn't pick it's it up for Tarrant. solo. It's not Chris, it's it's not not Chris Tarrant. Tarrant. For solo at ground level. <laughs> Tarrant used to be number 20. It's Tarrant. <laughs> Dane it's Swan hasn't ago. been near it yet. Big tackle by Dane Swan. For solo was in there. Gold sack as well. I think that was Nathan Foley running away with the footy. Tigers going back inside forward 50. Here's Brown. Oh, oh good. Oh, no, it's Rewalt. Disappointing. It was his favourite player, Jack Rewalt. I think Rewalt. that's too far out. He's gone for the long one, Jack Rewalt, into the goal oh. square. And out, Mark. Back has, there, Jeremy has Hummiston Howe. had a touch yet? Hasn't, I haven't seen Hummiston yet. There I am. The little little fat one. <laughs> it's actually no. it's a good, it's a very good likeness of you with how you look and your ability. You haven't looked like getting a kick. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Brady Grundy, left footer, played on quickly. Dane Swan. That's Swan. That is on Dane Swan. A lot of shit tats on Dane Swan, too, to be honest. <laughs> Looks like mud. Is that Daisy Thomas? Wasn't he a handy pick up for Carlton? Pendlebury crosses the field. De Gowie, been good early, set him up a couple of times. He gave the last one to Elliot. Elliot's got it again. Oh, he can't love, kick this, can he? I love Damien Hardwick, but you've got to get Ellis off, Elliot. Yeah, let's be honest. There's a reason why he's playing at the Gold Coast now, Matthew. No, very out good player. Out of bounds on the full. Out of bounds on the full. Nathan, that's two more than you. Certainly, it's straight back to Elliot. He's got another shot here, Elliot. He is best on <laughs> ground. They've got to make a move. They've got to get the boy off. <laughs> He's kicking it Elliot, straight in their throats. Two goals. 
And the Pies lead by seven points. Well, this man is Faz. clearly... Have a look at the Faz. <laughs> this the man prince. is clearly best on ground, Jamie Elliott. And I got told these quarters were going for five minutes because this has been about ten. No, it has not. It's been what we set up in five-minute quarters. Twenty seconds to go, it's a which long is time, one Richard. second in real time. Are we doing one quarter or four? No, we're doing four. Okay. Uh, that's you've got to you've got to make the move there now. Uh, like let's, Nathan Mick Malthouse didn't move Jimmy Clement off you that day at the MCG, and did Just you make him pay? She's Kotcha needs to get a kick. There's the, there's the bounce there, this first quarter. Uh, Richmond, Collingwood. Collingwood lead by seven points, Matthew. Yeah, look, Collingwood uh, <laughs> had more of the ball in their forward half. Richmond butchered it in their defensive 50. Let's be honest. You can't really blame Brandon Ellis twice. It was kicked directly on a turnover to Jamie Elliott, and uh, he's best on ground at quarter time. Jeremy, let's have a look at some of the stats because I think some of, some of these might be alarming, at least for, for two of us that are in the game. Richo, of course, you had that beautiful banana, but... Brownie, I didn't see your name called, and no, I didn't I, see my name called either. Uh, Richard uh, Huddleston, there's uh, donuts Richard there. <laughs> I've gone statless. I've gone statless on debut as we go across to the Richmond. Um, uh, what what do you bring to the table when you cross the white line? What's your number one attribute? I'm, just, I'm, a, I'm a blue-collar plumber. Are you? Yeah, back pocket just, plumber? Best back pocket plumber. I just I go to work. Nothing Tommy Hapey. Tommy Hapey would love you. Uh, look, to be honest, on debut, I, I, I would have liked at least a single disposal. If we have a look uh, at the uh, other side of things here. Brown. Brown hasn't touched it. <laughs> and Richardson's had one touch for one, one touch goal. One touch for one goal. Beautiful. Well, you, you, can't, you certainly can't complain there. Brownie, are you going to talk, talk, talk us through your game? No, you were I'm unsighted. Just, <clears throat> have you really on the ground? The ball yet? Have not been near the ball yet, so we'll, uh, we need to put me into full forward, I think. Yeah, how, did well, you go <laughs> your, how did you go at your first game for the Western Bulldogs, Nathan? Uh, first game for the Western Bulldogs, yeah. seven disposals in my first game for the Bulldogs. And Richmond? Uh, 31 and kick two. 31, all right. We're getting ready to get <laughs> the second bad. quarter they, underway. They tagged me with Murph, which was a, a mistake, clearly. Who tagged you? Murph. Is that right? Yeah, and then they put Boyd onto me after that, and mm. Das went back with the flight, and I think he had a little bit of a turtle. It's not about you, mate. Okay, time for the second term. Grundy and also Big Nan Curvis go up. There's Taylor Adams, can't get his hands to it. Going back in was Big Nan Curvis. His handball was okay, it was slick. The hill Billy McIntosh couldn't get it out. Dane Swan was there. I've lost track of the ball again. Just pings around under this ball. Brody Grundy, he just can't pick it up, big Brody. He's not having a great day. And free kick's been paid to the Tigers towards centre wing. Grundy again. He just he having real trouble again. Picking it up, big Brody Grundy. What do you got to say, man? Oh, There's Scott Penner. Richmond are just butchering the football. Right from the start of this game, they haven't been able to hit a target. Oh. And another turner. Every Collingwood goal has come from turnover. And well, there's far too much Richmond. pressure on. What are you yeah. saying to your defence, given they're just literally just kicking it straight down the forward pocket's throat? Well, that, that's nothing to do with the defence there, Hummer. That's just horrible stuff through the midfield of the ground. You can't let Scott Pendlebury run through 50 like that. He is yeah. going to kick that every single day of the week. Yeah, he's so play beautifully there. If I'm the Richmond defence, I'm, I'm asking the midfield to put a little bit more pressure on it at the moment. Yeah, have a look at Pendles. Pendles looking more tanned, and normally he's got quite a... Uh, a very, I've very been disappointed pale. with Trent Cotchin in this game. He hasn't touched it near it. No, nah, he's been pretty ordinary. It. There's Pendlebury again. There's oh. Tarrant. Tarrant's got it again. <laughs> oh, right oh, 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 oh. Holding the ball. Go and Ben Reid is, ben that, Reed is that, injured. Ben Reid is not, injured. That is not Chris Tarrant, mate. Yeah, it looks Chris like Tarrant. Tarrant's got the biggest arms I've ever seen. Man, Kervis in the middle of the MCG. Going to move the ball forward. That's a mark. Out there. Ooh. Who's got the footy out there? Zach that Brownie? Maybe. Brownie, that was Brownie. Go that was inside you. forward 50, and he's found Jack Rewalt just dropping. Is that Rewalt? Yeah, that's, that's Rewalt. And Rewalt should be able to capitalise here. Yeah. Oh, very nice movement. Matthew Richardson in the goal square pretends he's happy for somebody else. <laughs> normally, he was filthy when anybody didn't kick it to him. And that's Team why... player, that, that, that was good, Nathan, by you there. You've got the move, ball moving on quickly. Any good forward will tell you that if you get a mark, 55, 60 metres out. Just wheel around. Don't wait for it. And Hummer, he's going to get sunburnt on the forehead, watching the ball go over his head today, I'll tell you. 
That was about the day where Spud uh, said that if prestigious slow-mo runs past you, Matthew, uh, don't ask for a game next week. No, it was in a team meeting, Nathan, pre-game, uh, v Collingwood, and, and Spud said, whoever's playing on Prestige slow-mo, it's fair dinkum. If you don't win that battle, you won't get a game next week. He is as slow as a wet week. Kane Johnson got the first centre bounce of the game, streamed through the middle, laced me out on a lead, and as I went to market, Simon Prestige slow-mo ran straight past me and punched it away. And I thought to myself, if Spud thinks he's slow, how slow am I? I reckon Rewald's got another one here. Beautiful movement by Dustin Martin out of the middle in towards full forward. And Jack Rewalt has kicked the goal. Everybody's favourite player, Rewalt. Yeah, Can't see you know, any of you two getting around in there either. No, well, Where you were know you then, Richo? No, this, this was an inspired move to bring Richardson into the team because Rewalt's inspired by this. He feels threatened and he's really <laughs> starting to play to his ability now. She's become a good Look player, at he, What's, Jack, he, what's he? with his kicking action? No, he's a very good kick. That was yeah, a tumbler, though. That one, <laughs> he's, he's trying to... It's like a torrid. He's, he's torried it. It's almost Peter Hudson, 1970 style. Flat punt. He's kicked so back 631 in the goals now, Rewalt. What a game on here. the last two. Magpies by a point. They need to respond here. Trelaw. He's going to get it back, Trelaw. He should be able to kick this one. This is the man that shaves his leg in the bath before a game, watching the Simpsons. Does he really? He does. He shaves his leg, left leg first while he watched the Simpsons in the bath. That's his pre-game ritual. Every, everyone has superstitions. What was yours, mate? Uh, I used to have the same pasta every night. It's, it's nothing yeah. fancy like that sort of rubbish. Oh, turnover. Another turnover in defensive 50 for the Tigers. So the ball goes to the top of the square. Loose footy here. Grimes is in there. I reckon Grimes has become the best defender in the AFL. Bashar Hooley goes in. Tigers through Rance. Oh, have a look at him. Have a bounce. Have a go. Down towards oh, half back, and Edwards should be able to... No, he doesn't mark that. Tries to smother off the side of the boot from Adams. He'll get it back, Adams, and he'll try and load up. No, Tigers get it back again. Good defensive there, work, Matt. Is there a player in the AFL that works harder than Taylor Adams? I love him. He yeah, goes hard few. at the ball. I could name a few. No, I don't think so. I think he works as hard as anyone, Taylor oh, Dylan Grimes works pretty hard. No, I'm Ted talking Cunnington. as a midfielder. Two-way running in the midfield. Brown. Lockie Neal works pretty hard. Oh, turnover, Brownie. You just turned it over. That was a poor turnover. Um, who else works pretty hard? I reckon Tom Mitchell works pretty hard too. I, I reckon this Taylor Adams runs here. as hard both ways as anyone in the game. Yeah. I reckon uh, Tom Scully works pretty hard. He does. That's Shane Edwards. He's become a superstar, hasn't he? I reckon he's best on Shane Edwards. Oh, oh, that can't be me. That can't be me. We've just seen Richo's first ever AFL tackle. Oh, that's hilarious. That, uh, <laughs> there's the hard work up in Adams. Ball back towards Shane Edwards. Inside forward 50 in Rioli. Where's, where's yeah, the Richo? He's in the gone back to the goal square. He's doubled back. Here's the one-on-one -on -one he wants. Here's Rich the one-on-one. -on -one. Richardson. Out of bounds on the full. Poor use. That poor kick. You've got to get that to the top of the square, Daniel Rioli. Had a good game last week, kicked three goals. But that's just selfish. That is not team football. You put that 15 metres out in front, let the big men jump at it. Adam Trelaw. Regularly gets 40 disposals, Adam Trelaw. He probably works hard as well, Trelaw, to be honest. I might have jumped the gun there on Adams. Yeah, I think this is me. Brown. This is Brown. Really starting to have an impact, Brown. Should be going for goal here, I would have thought, oh, 55. Oh, that, that is outstanding. Oh, oh, Tori, what about you just unleashed the, can't cork the genie brownie. Yeah, See, I, I hate that. If that I'm a coach, massive. if I'm a coach and someone has a ping from there 55 metres out, it, the percentages say you're not going to kick that. <laughs> and that sums Nathan Brown up as a player. Always <laughs> I think I've got yourself. it again, have I? Have I got it again or is that Rewalt? No, that's Jack Rewalt. Rewalt. Oh, you've both got red hair. That, that's <laughs> <Rewalt's> <laughs> He's all been disappointed. Hasn't he come into the game? Very well. Uh, you know what? Um, the very first game I played for Richmond in number seven, the seven looked like a one. The actual stroke on the top, it wasn't long enough. And I cracked it. And I, went to, I went to the club and said, look, my seven's not right. I need it changed. <laughs> and then in round two, I had a different seven. So there you go. Everyone listening at home, that, that is a snapshot of what <laughs> Nathan Brown thinks about during a game himself. Who would think about what your number looked like on your back? It was all about you, wasn't it? Me, 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 me. Disgrace, oh. Brownie. So you you're Tigers in the have been good. 
You were just in the ruck then, Richo. Well, You're in the ruck now. Well, Dimmer's lost the plot. You don't put a Ferrari in there. <laughs> that is I've, a joke, Damien Harpwick. I've seen Richo go to the ruck many times, and it's like dancing with his sister. It is bruise-free football because he does not want to compete. I remember going in there against Brendan Lake one day, and I saw him chuckling as he, we were lining up against each other in the middle, and he drove his knee through my rib cage, and I was on the ground for about 10 minutes. That's my big, only centre bounce. Bring big Brendan Lake chase Kale Morton. That was funny. <laughs> hey, just for those oh. playing at home, I understand you might not be able to see the scoreboard. It is Collingwood 22, Richmond 28 at half. Is anyone, is anyone actually watching this, huh? Yeah, a few. Oh, good. A few. We're going to chat to a few of them at half time. Richmond leads Collingwood by six points. Gentlemen, did you response. think did you think this was going to be this close? No, nah, good response by the Tigers. Started getting it out of the middle, but it was Rewalt up forward. Just turned the game on its head. I think he kicked. Did he kick three goals in that quarter? I think he did, Jack Rewalt. At yeah, three he... disposals, hum. Oh, I had... <laughs> How do we miss them? I had three oh, disposals. Two some kicks. players are just very easy to miss out there, and you're one of them, Mama. <laughs> yep. Three. Oh, that's good on debut. How did we go? Nathan Brown, of course, came into the game. Then we saw him have a, hey, have a yeah. shot from. 60. Can I just point out who's had the most disposals for Collingwood? If you work hard, you get the football. And guess who? Taylor Adams has had the most disposals for the Collingwood Football Club. Well, you know who's had the least out of the three of us. Matthew Richardson. Because I'm <laughs> playing. The de- no, no. I'll, I'll tell you why. I'm playing the deepest forward. Generally, generally speaking, if you're playing deep forward, you're relying on the delivery up the ground. It just hasn't been there tonight. So we've seen you have a, a tackle and a banana. Now, that's two things that have just never happened before in your actual no. AFL career. Is that correct? No, that's true, Hum. But have a look at Rewalt. He was inspired by my inclusion. Four kicks, kick four, four kicks goals. Four kicks four goals. Hey, Brownie, Richard, what? compare this to calling a real game. Harder, easier. How are you finding it? I can't even see the players, to be honest with you. I wouldn't know <laughs> what is going on. It's pretty uh, tough. It's pretty tough. Um, the um, the internet speed makes it really hard. Is it? It's our broadband, isn't it? This was always going to happen. <laughs> well, let's not turn this into a broadband bashing because we'll, we've done enough of that. Let's fire up for the third quarter because time is getting away from us, Richard. I know that you said you only wanted these to be five-minute quarters. I can see the audience dropping off. We're going to fire back up to the second half. Predictions, what's going to happen here, boys? Richmond, will they get the chocolates? Yeah, I think so. Richmond should win this one, huh? Got too much yeah. talent in their forward line. Now, we are plagued at the moment by something that plagues every single internet gamer in the world. We've got some issues with the internet. So let's keep padding as our audience dwindles to nothing. Is this... This would be an issue, wouldn't it, if you're a gamer around the world, the internet speed? Why are you, why are you so hung up on the internet speed? Well, what, what are you doing that requires it's, such quick internet? It's not a good user experience, Hum. It needs to be fast. Are you, are you on the NBN? Oh, I am. Uh, what, what we have, what, I'll tell you what you find in this game. Now, Richard, you should know this because you're yeah, a it. The half, whoever is at half forward will always have the most amount of most disposals. Why is that? I don't know. It just seems to be the way. Yeah. That, can you can you give us some insight? Because of course you called this game. You were the special comments on this game. Talk us through what what's it like inside the booth when you when you're doing the the voice recordings for these games. Well, you basically, why were you, Dan, so bad? you do it, Dennis. Yeah, well, Dennis is a pro, but basically, basically you go in. It took two days. Uh, people won't believe that at home if they listen to my vocabulary. But no, they don't. It took two days. Da- <laughs> I swear I, there were thousands upon thousands of lines that you just had to go over and over and over and over and over. Every score permutation you had to go over, it uh, it took a long, long time to do. Hey, we might be seconds away, maybe. No. Still. How many viewers did we start with and how many do we have now? We were up. We had nine thousand viewers to start the day. No, we had about. We, we got the three thousand viewers. Yep. A few have dropped off, but what we'll see is once this game starts up again, they're going to start coming back in droves. I oh, assure you, they've Can dropped I, off. I think this encapsulates what's happened this season. Normally on a on a Thursday, Friday night, we would have a million viewers tonight on hey. Channel Seven, and we've got about two hundred tonight. Ah, uh, we're back, Matthew. <laughs> Here we go for the Watch third quarter. The, the pies are in attack. Well, oh, Tarrant's got it. Have a look at Chris Tarrant go. I reckon he's kicked an he's early kicked one, it. Taz. Oh, the biggest arms I've ever seen. Chris Tarrant has it's, kicked the goal. It's ben not Reed. Chris Tarrant. That is the worst look like of Ben Reed I've seen ever. Is that meant to be Ben Reed? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Ben be. Reed's got shorter, musclier, and hair. Well, he used to be number twenty, Chris Tarrant. He Six did. years ago, Brownie. 
Oh, oh Dimmer, Dimmer's left uh, Richardson in the ruck. That's not the right move. And that's why. He's Please. still in the ruck. A centre bounce there oh. for, for Collingwood. A good start by the Pies. It's all squared away. 28 apiece. Grundy, very good again. Penderbury. Been a little bit quiet. Penderbury has oh, kicked the goal. Big the tackle by Grimes. That's holding the ball. No, play on. Ball. play on. Play no. on. Absolute play on. David Asprey, injured gentleman. Don't know what do it you, is. Do you reckon... You, that umpire there, Matthew, if yeah. you hadn't taken finasteride, that that's what you'd look like? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got a point, Nathan. I reckon it's looking all right at the moment, my hair. But, well, Brownie, you never touched a finasteride. Have you seen Wayne Carey at the moment? It's extraordinary. Yeah. He's got an afro now, the duck. And he's taken that's this thing on. called, like, swamp or something that his, his eyebrows are thicker. It's... <laughs> You got to be careful. You get hair on the on the palms of your hand if you take too much of that stuff. Yeah, right. like team wolf. Here's Richo. Oh, Richo. Found some space in the, the middle of the Richo. ground. Watch him butcher this footy. Oh, it's <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Adams. I'll tell you Here's what. Richardson, this, another opportunity. That's pretty accurate programming by the programmer there, isn't it? <laughs> the turnover. <laughs> We just, had a, we just had a comment from uh, from Richo needs to lift. Probably get more productivity from a cone, let alone that bloke. No, nah, that's a fair call. Come from Jimmy Nugent. Been very ordinary. Well, the Faz. Good player, the Faz, up in his day. Had a lot of injuries towards the end of his career. Oh, Basha that should Hooli have been 50. Did you say Hooli then? Basha Hooli ran across the mark. He did. Oh, Vasala, the prince. How did the umpire miss that? Let's have a look at the replay here. Let's look at Basha Hooli. He ran directly <laughs> through the mark. Oh, Basha. <laughs> How did that... that was... <clears throat> That was Jim Steins in the 1987 preliminary final. Let's have another look here. That is disgraceful umpiring. <laughs> you'll, be um, you'll be umpiring in the VFL next week. That had to be <laughs> He's literally running. <laughs> i tell you what, we're having a few replays of it, aren't we? <laughs> Score yeah. review. Collingwood by seven Richardson, points. Richardson, back in the ruck. Oh, in, win the ruck tap again. Being very good out of the centre of the pie since Richards has moved back <laughs> in the middle. What's wrong with Toby Nankervis? Must have um, gone off injured. Dane Swan. Who's down on the boundary? Who's DeGowie? I think that's out of bounds on the full. No, no. Jamie Elliott. Been very good. He's already kicked two, Jamie Elliott. This, this is for is number not, three. This is not beyond him. The internet's a bit bitter all of a sudden. Another goal to the Pies. Really taking control now. Solo. Nathan, I'll, I'll just tell you a quick little story. I went to a barbecue years and years ago and I was having a kick with some young kids in the back room, backyard at this bar barbecue and I remember as I walked away, I thought, geez, that little kid could play. You know when you can see a kid can play? Yeah. And I went and asked who it was and, and one of the parents said, oh, that's, uh, his name's Jordan. It was Jordan Degoe and you could tell when he was five years of age that he was going to be an AFL player. He had right. everything. Yeah. That was a good goal. Mm. Who is that, by the way? Alex Solo. Solo. Oh, the Faz. Nice. Richo, you are getting absolutely belted in the ruck. Why are you still in there? Well, it's bad coaching now, isn't it? I mean, you can't <laughs> blame me now. It's clear that I can't ruck, and I'll admit that. I never, I never could ruck. Why you would move me in there is pure and simply Swanee. bad coaching from Damien Hardwick. No move the ball forward. No advantage. So, free kick. Inside forward 50. This Hammer. should be... Hammer! Is that Hammer. you on the spot? <laughs> oh, he's taking it. And he just said, Mark, he hits Swanee. You found yeah. Mark oh, Jack Rewild, hum. Nice work. <laughs> Grundy starting to come into it. Here's Trelaw. That was good ball use through the corridor by the Pies. Very good. There's the pick, Greenwood. Brown. Oh, finds, out marked. Finds the Gowie. No, he doesn't. In the middle of the ground. There's Brown again. Nankervis. Kicks it to Nankervis inside forward 50. And a mark taken by Dustin Martin. He should go back and kick this. He won't miss he, this. He doesn't miss these, Dusty. Where does he rate, Nate, at Richmond all time? Richard. All time? I think he is in the conversation of the top two, top three of all time I, at Richmond. I think he is. I think if you look at all time greats, by the time he retires, I think it's him and Kevin Bartlett. And Bartlett with his five premierships might just have him, but he's going to be right there with Bartlett. 
That's a, a big wrap, isn't it? it? Yeah. It's a lot of premierships. Five for KB. Richo's out of the ruck. Good move. Smart. You've, you've forgotten what you're doing. Are you really? calling this guy Nathan or? <laughs> Terrence got it again. <laughs> and awards half forward. And the Tigers, it's just starting to get control back here. Seven points down. The Pies had a rush early actually stage good, of this quarter. And now they got an awards game, half forward. For a computer game, this is actually not a bad game, is it? Close. There's two, there's two number 12s out there, Richardson and Asprey. In towards goal. This could be a goal. Can someone take a mark? His oh, Hummer. Hummer, he was stuffed. That's terrible. Brown. Oh, throwing Brown. the ball. Oh, Brown. <laughs> Hummer throwing the ball. <laughs> Who's this? It's Graham Pollack. He's dobbed it. No, it's not. It's Sean Grigg. No. Oh. Well, yeah. That doesn't look a thing like Sean Grigg. It Nathan, looks like Graham Pollack. <laughs> we're commentating from about two or three years ago, not 15. You should what know about- these players. When they used to call Graham Polak Hank, because whenever he had a drink, he'd change. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the only bloke, is he? No, he's not Robertson Crusoe there, Matthew. Anyway. Hey, Collingwood 41, Richmond 40. This is an absolute game on. I know you can't see the score because of that little annoying live logo. Collingwood 41, Richmond 40. Three minutes to go. I said Elliot game. again. Yeah, oh, he's best he's on the moment, best Elliot. On. You know, Richmond turned it around when Nankervis <laughs> went back into the ruck. And they've left Brandon Ellis on him, which is a surprise. So go to the Pies, back to a seven-point margin. I think at the end of this game, the, the media will be asking, why did why did you leave Brandon Ellis on Jamie Elliott? And the other question will be, why on earth did you leave Richardson in the ruck? They will be the two questions that will be asked of Richmond if they lose this game. Yep. Make no mistake. Rance has been pretty ordinary in his uh, game back. Well, you can't expect him. He hasn't been training. No. He had a lot of time yeah. from the game. Mm. He was he knocking on a lot of doors. So, so back in the middle, seven point margin. Pies are winning this one. I need to lift here the Tigers. Dane Swan's got the footy. Annawood's half forward. Darcy Moore. I haven't seen him, Darcy Moore, at the moment, but didn't get the footy there. Hoskin Elliott, good mark taker. Chief Lostone's a good player. If you had to back someone in to win a one on one contest, I'd back Lostone every day of the week. And this man, oh, he's got oh, some magic dangerous kick. into the middle, into the middle. What about that? That is precision, <laughs> Matthew. That's what you used to get delivered to. Sorry, I was, just, I was just checking uh, my messages and I've had a text message from Adam Patterson's lawyer. Uh, I will be getting a letter. Hi. Oh, well. <laughs> We're all stuffed. He thinks that he was a better ruckman than I, I said he was. So I, I, I don't take that back. He was uncoordinated. Oh, after the siren. Couldn't catch a cold, Patterson. That's three-quarter time, everybody. Seven-point margin. Oh, he's kicked it. He's gone over the... Oh, it's <laughs> not How is that mean? allowed to happen? It's Graham Pollack again. <laughs> Sean Griggs. Oh, I tell you what, six this points. is game on. Collingwood leads Richmond, surprisingly. By six points, Richmond got out to that early lead, but the Pies are hanging in there, boys. Look. He's a good leader, isn't he, Kendall? Look at him in there. <laughs> that, that was just inspiring, wasn't it? Before, they've, by before they've got to the coaches, Pendles has said, nah, get around me, boys. I'm going to stand in the middle of the, t- the circle and just talk. Did you see the contested possessions there? Collingwood plus 21. You don't Ooh. lose many games if you're plus 21 in contested possessions. Mm-hmm. Hummerston, three kicks, Ooh. five disposals. Yeah, that's not bad on debut not from bad that on pocket. Debut. Who am I playing on? That's the question. We're well, playing on Nathan know. Brown. Taylor oh, yeah. Adams, Taylor Adams still leading all possession winners with 12 for Collingwood. Adam Trelaw with 11. I have completely negated you out of this, negated you here, Brownie. You've been oh, horrible. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you go to the pub uh, with Brownie Hummer. Yeah, you've just stopped. So you've, no, no, just no. Two, you've run out of batteries, Brownie. So the, first, the first two or three beers, he's all engaged and he's chatting and everyone's having a good time, but as the afternoon wears on, he just drifts off into he's, his own little he's world. Just, and, he's exactly like the Energizer he, Bunny. The, <laughs> the batteries have just come out. This is exactly what's happened here tonight. And it's a bit like he, sometimes he's football. He'd start well, half-time he'd yeah. be best on. You'd, you'd I wonder where he went in the second half. Well, he had a very famous fourth quarter against the Magpies once at the G where he kicked five goals on Jimmy Clement. Hopefully he can spruce back up for the last quarter because this is game on at the G. Can Thursday change, night. Can we change footy. my position to full forward? Is that, is that achievable? 
Well, we don't want to ruin the game. Okay. We don't want to be here any longer than we have to. No, no, no. no, no. All right, just, let's start the last quarter. Just where you are. <laughs> oh, jeez. Brownie, there's, I don't know if you know this. There's not a lot of footy on. Right, you're an AFL investor. This is as good as it gets for you. For the what if we highlighted so, that? <laughs> Who, who's in who's in charge of that? Don't highlight that, please. You've been atrocious, with Joe. The thing you've been downloaded a thousand times. These poor bastards. They, well, get, mate, all I, ex- they get all excited. They download Manny Richardson into their AFL game. Well, mate, and then you do that. Not many blokes can even play at 45. <laughs> to be out there is a bloody true. good achievement. All right, we're going to get into this one now, Brownie. Take it away. You've uh, got five minutes left. It's a big last quarter coming up. Brody Grundy wins the tap on this one. Coming through was Tarrant. Laid a big tackle. Oh, Trelaw's found some space inside forward 50. And the Faz, this man's second half has been outstanding. Faz with a long one. I reckon he's put it through. He has. No, touch. No, play on, miss. It hasn't no, even well, gone the full length. Good defence. Look at Asprey. Asprey's been pretty good. Handball off. Brandon Ellis got light mode down. Trelaw going back in there. Someone's hit the deck. Jeez, they hit the deck hard back there and out towards Bashahooli. Richo, someone says, Jake Barramundi says, someone tell Richo he's playing like Byron Cook. Yeah, that's a good call. Mm, that is a good yeah. call. Byron Cook, he's the worst footballer I've ever seen. That was Byron bad, Cook. that dog. I've seen a lot of bad players in the time, but Byron Cook is the worst I've ever seen. Tigers with an opportunity here. Try to get the handball out to Nan Kerbis. There's a golden rule, you never handball to a ruckman. And back to Brody Grundy, and his kick goes up the side of the boot. But gee, for Solo, <laughs> just let out again. The Richmond defence. They're all at sea, aren't they? Goal to for Solo. That's goal number three for Solo. Hey, the post. Well, the Pies got a commanding lead now. Unselfish, Grundy. He could have had a shot there, but for Solo, he's been really good. Him and Elliot. They've been too much for the Richmond defenders. And this is getting out of reach now for the Tigers. They've got to win this centre bounce. Oh, clearly they do. And Grundy won the tap. Well, that's what I said, Nathan. I'm doing the special comments. <laughs> exactly. Swan was in there. Picking up the ball was Grimes. Swan an awkward one. Shit. Tarrant went back in. If the Pies get another one, it's going to be oh, pretty the much back, shut sure. the gate. And the Tigers will win a free kick at centre half back. Brody Grundy won another tap. Nan Curvis has been pretty ordinary. Ball finds its way into the middle. Crisp. Good player, Crisp. Good left foot up. Can count on him. Cochin. Rare Cochin's touch. Been quiet. Inside forward 50. That's Josh oh, Caddy. That's, I have not seen Caddy no. all day. I have not sighted no. Caddy yet. He goes for the lead into the pocket. Rioli. Rioli. Need a little bit of magic here from Daniel Rioli. I reckon he'll go to the banana Richard, magic. Where are you leading there, Richo? I'm trying to get the handball around the back. Now, Hummer, <laughs> did you see what I did then? I let out of the goal put square him, to open off. up the square. No, <laughs> I was opened right up the goal square. <laughs> that you was unselfish. You put him <laughs> off. You hemmed him in. That's an, <laughs> that's an unrewarded lead there. Beautiful play. Here's the crisp up. Back across goal. That's dangerous. Oh, Richard. Oh, here take we it. go. Go, Richardson. Here we go. They need something by the big... Oh, yeah. that's, oh, that's unselfish. Unselfish. <laughs> unselfish. There's another thing Rioli. we didn't ever see in your AFL career, Richard. Oh, I've done things today. today that I've never done in my career. So, <laughs> had a tackle and actually passed one. So. They pegged one back, the Tigers. That's if, if Richmond win the game, that will be the moment in the coach's box, the whiteboard... They'll be unselfish and it'll be circled and they'll be bashing at the coach and they'll be looking at number 12 and they'll be going unselfish. That is the moment that this game was won for the oh. Tigers. Hey, they like the, the torpedo set shots in this game. That was a reverse torpedo. <laughs> they are hard to do. We're back They're in the middle. The Tigers will have two in a row here. Oh. Big tackle laid by Brody oh, Grundy. Crunch. Free kick, ball. that was holding the ball. They go inside, forward 50, and a mark taken. He's been great, Tarrant. <laughs> Chris Tarrant is going to go from 50 metres out to kick another one. And it's just moving backwards, and that's it. a goal. Ooh. That is a goal. Did Chris Tarrant have the best arms in the AFL? Yep. yep. They I think were, he did. She's our big arms. Definition. He's kicked that around the body. Yeah, big problem. arms there on Tarrant. So the Pies get one back. 11-point margin. Of course, this game's going for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ball up. Hummer, 
Hummus said 20 minutes. <laughs> no, I said five minutes plus time on. Kick into the middle. Man, Curvis. Oh, Dustin. Oh, uh, forward, Dustin, to Mark. We need something. Rich. It is Richardson. Yeah. Oh, Get off the oh, treadmill, Richo. Once again, that's just a good piece of play. By... Oh, close. no. They needed that, the Tigers. I think Richmond are gone here. Yep. I think the Pies have got it now. The Pies are doing the kicking in. Lyndon Dunn, that is. Played on. You know the only thing that we've... Hummer! The only... Is that you, Hummer? Oh, no! Oh, I'll turn it off. To... I'll have a shot here. <laughs> no. I'll have a shot, clearly. I'll have a shot. I'll have to have a shot. That was... That was what were you doing then, terrible. Man? I don't know. It's disappointing. You know the only thing this has achieved this tonight? It's actually proving that I actually cannot... I am no good at special comments. <laughs> the only thing we've proven here is not. I'll be out of a job because of this. The internet fast enough. <laughs> We're not on the NBN, that's why. Or we are on the NBN. Galore, Grundy, goes for a bit of a run, the big fella. Inside forward, 50, Ellis. looking for Elliot, who's been best on ground, Elliot. Elliot. No, that Ellis. was good. Brandon Ellis, good one-on-one -on -one win there. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Ball moves Richo. quickly from end to win, and uh, gee, rewald has been good. He's Jeez. Richmond's best. Oh, he no, has he been the standout that. forward. Lyndon Dunn. She's wasting some chances, though, Jack. Oh, yeah. He's got it again. So there's a kick this. For the Tigers have any chance at all, he sets it up. Looking for Richardson and Dustin Martin takes a beautiful mark. Name the person who wore number four before Dustin Martin, Richo. Oh, he's kicked it game oh, on. A minute 30 to go. They're down by four points here, boys. It's gonna, a minute 30 in this game is two wasn't, seconds of real wasn't life. wasn't Andrew Rains, was it? It was Andrew Rains, yes. yes. Son Good of man, Rains. He's son of the great Jeff Rains. Or best and fairest, Jeff Rains one. Remember when he punched on with Shane Tuck at Heat Nightclub, Jeff Rains? <laughs> <laughs> minute 30 to go, gentlemen. Collingwood by four points. I wouldn't call it a... It was a disagreement, Nathan. <laughs> it was a disagreement. Oh, dear. Here we go. Back in, it's close. Really closing up. Four points the margin. Tigers through oh, Asprey. No, that is a... You can't be doing that when you're down by four points of the minute to go. That's pretty ordinary. They're just going Tigers down the line. Here. Got to take a risk. Oh. There it is. They've There's run the out siren. of time. And the Pies yes. are won by four points. Have a look at Kendall's go. He's pretty happy. Oh, Swanee. Oh, Swanee. Oh, Swanee. <laughs> yeah. Haven't seen him on the screen for a while. Mate, Swanee will be going oh. off at the Albion tonight, won't he? He will oh, be. it's close. It's unfortunately for Swanee, he won't I be able know. to go to the Albion. And, well, no, he'll be won't. able to go to any pubs. In fact, that crowd is entire. That's entirely fake as well because, well, you're not allowed to well, go. Boys, it, let's unpack is... that for a second before we go. Well, Jack... The Pikes, they wasted their opportunities, didn't they? And Jack there was looking all disappointed, and so he should. He wasted two chances in the last five minutes. He did. He got stage fright, Jack. <sighs> they wasted their opportunities. 20 <laughs> inside, 50s to 19. But, Richo, you said... Un Contested uh, possessions. Contested That's possessions. That's where the game's won or lost. If you don't win that... You... to the Pies, 65 to the Tigers. Yeah, if you don't win that, Hummer, you, you don't win many games of football. Pies just a bit too hard. And I'll go back to that man again, Taylor Adams, his two-way run, Nathan. He is one of the hardest workers in the AFL, and he was one of the reasons they won that game. Yeah, Alex okay. Solo and Jamie Elliott were good up for it. I think... Taylor Adams was very, very good, but I thought that the standout tonight was Jamie Elliott. I thought he was the best man on the ground. He was the difference. Him and also the Faz. Faz was very good. Grundy had 14 in the end. Yeah, I had good. four. <laughs> I'm pretty happy on debut. Hey, lads, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to end things now because, and I wanted to thank you both, because for 40 minutes for footy fans, we got to forget about the misery of the world, just and yeah. footy was back for Thursday night footy. And the best thing is, we're back Friday night, we're back Saturday night, and possibly Sunday, but we need you guys at home to be tuning in. But thank you very much for joining us. We Thanks hope so just much. for 40 minutes you got to forget about everything and just cheer on footy. We know it's not the real stuff, but it's as good as we're going to get for the next few months. Good on you, Nate. Well done, Brad. Oh, well, yeah, boys. <laughs> Jack Rewald, best on ground. No, Dustin, the game. no Dustin, Martin. Dustin Martin was <laughs> play of the game. Well, I would say three votes as Jack, one vote Dustin Martin, two votes Jamie Elliott. 